Romans chapter 1, verse 20. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. I talked on this Bible verse uh, last week. I believe I uploaded the video by Sunday. I'm not exactly sure, but I believe that's the time frame of it. And uh, it got a lot of attention from atheists, a lot of a lot of negative comments, but hey, that's encouraging because I know at least most of them listened, at least listened, heard it out. And, uh, you know, the, the message I talked in that video, it wasn't exactly, I mean, it wasn't unbiblical, but it wasn't, uh, I guess you could say I didn't handle it, or maybe word it the best way, I didn't word it the best way. A better wording for it could have been, you know, atheists. I mean, God exists whether atheists acknowledge it or not, or something along the lines of God proves his own existence. I don't know if I'm going to retitle the video or not, but, uh, you know, it's not really that atheists don't believe in God. It is. It really is more that they just choose not to acknowledge it, because deep down we all know God exists because of our conscience. We know right and wrong because of that. See, a lot of atheists, even even one in my comment section, lots of, in a lot of debates, when you debate them, they'll, you know, they'll preach common sense and logic and science, but as soon as you turn it around and, you know, show them that all this stuff does point to God, they'll, they'll say something along the lines of. You can't trust common sense to tell you the truth. Well, you kind of can. Because, again, the creation is proof of the creator. God proves his, own, proves his own existence through, you know, the creation. But, you know, I mean, common sense, it's, you know, this instinct, this knowledge that he's, you know, given us from the start. It's proof of his own intelligence, which is far greater than ours. And we just, the, those, a lot of us, we just choose to deny it because, unfortunately, that's our, that's our nature as humans, that sinful nature, and only he can break that cycle and save us from it, but only if we accept it. And I have uh, known a lot of atheists throughout my life, and some of them, you know, older adults than me. But uh, I've yet to meet one who, when their kid asks, you know, why is the sky blue? I've yet to meet one who will say, oh, because a bunch of atoms came together for no particular reason and it just became blue. No, they, they tell them because God made it blue. And it might be a, could be a conscious decision, could be a subconscious decision to say that I don't know but I do know one thing it does show that uh, they can only not acknowledge God's existence so much and I know somebody if and I know somebody if uh, if as many atheists see this video as they did the last one I know somebody's gonna say oh well they're just trying to protect their kids uh, innocence yeah, well, in lying to your kid, you know, you're doing them a huge disservice. If you really believed that the sky made itself blue, if you really believed that, you'd tell your kid that because you, if it, if you believe that that's the truth, you know, you, and you don't tell them that, that's lying and, and it's immoral. And a lot of atheists will say that they can be moral themselves. And that is true. Atheists can have morality. They do, and a lot of them do have morality. They just can't justify their morality because morality has to come from something greater than us, than us humans. And whether we acknowledge it or not, it comes from God and our God-given conscious. It's God-given and society-shaped. But a lot of things, 
in our society and our laws and a lot of things in our and that still small voice in our guts that tell us you know not to do something because it's wrong a lot of it does follow the lines of the Ten Commandments and of course following these isn't what saves us and believing in God isn't what saves us the Bible says even the demons believe in God even Satan believes in God but that doesn't you know that doesn't redeem them no, what redeems us is believing and trusting in that sacrifice that God made for us. That God became a human being, Jesus of Nazareth, and he lived that perfect sinless life that we couldn't. And then he suffered and died on that cross, taking the punishment that we deserve, covering for us. And he rose from the dead on the third day because it worked. It was the proof of our justification. It is not just the belief in God that saves us. Yes, we do have to believe in God. But more than that, we have to believe, trust, and receive You know that free gift of salvation. We have to trust that sacrifice that he provided for us. Any atheists watching, I, I pray that uh, you guys may come to find Christ. And also, for any fellow Christians watching, I do have an outspoken prayer request. Uh, I don't want to, you know, give the details, but uh, I know someone who could use prayer. And, uh, you know, I know God is able and that God is willing. And, uh, you know, I'll let you guys know as soon as I hear something else. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. God bless you all.